Happy Thanksgiving. Now let me tell you about turkey wings. I love some turkey wings. I'm eating brown soup chicken on Thanksgiving. I don't want no turkey. I'm here for the sides, bro. I like duck and dressing. That's my, that's my preference. Today, I'm gonna get from scratch banana pudding from somebody's aunt or grandmother. What's up guys, my name is Amira Alexander and I'm here to tell you guys why I think yams is the best Thanksgiving food off the night name. What's up y'all, this is Ab Judah and I'm here to tell y'all why I think that roasted duck is the best Thanksgiving food off the night name. What's up guys, it's your girl Carter Sade and I'm here to tell you why I think that dressing is the best Thanksgiving day food that is not named. What's up gang, my name is Minnie Skirt Murr and I'm here to tell you why I think banana pudding is the best Thanksgiving day food most often not named. What's up y'all, it's OG Fool Aid. And this is why I think brown soup chicken is the best chicken Thanksgiving. My name is Tanisha and I'm here to tell you guys why I think turkey wings is the best Thanksgiving food often not named. So first off, I like anything with sweet potatoes. I like sweet potatoes fries. They said I can't say sweet potato casserole, but I feel like that's yams just remixed. And then like, you can candy yams. I feel like you could do a lot with it. And so um, for me, like people think it's stuffing and then it's dressing, but I, my people from Mississippi, we from the South and then we migrated to Michigan. And so in dressing, it's duck and dressing, it's turkey and dressing. Um, you can mix it with everything, but you can eat it days later. Turkey sucks, right? We all know that, right? It's overrated, it's dry. It, no matter what you do to it, it's gonna taste the same, bro. I don't care how long you marinate it or how you, it's the same, bro. It doesn't matter, I don't want no turkey. I'm here for the sides, bro. The duck, though, oh man. If you never had it, you got to try it. I make some bomb ass jerk turkey wings, okay? My jerk turkey wings, like when I say it's laid out to a T from the onions, the green peppers, the red peppers, I do the little jerk seasoning, but most importantly, I put chunks of sweet potatoes in there to kind of give you that little, you know, hot, spicy, but sweet little taste. I don't eat meat anymore. So like, I don't do the turkey, don't do the ham. I do the sides and I look forward. I look forward to banana pudding, like literally, Everybody can't make it. No, I don't like the store bar shit. So I like it with the, van the vanilla wafers at the bottom. You got the pudding and the bananas in the middle. Vanilla wafers again. You got another layer and then you on top. On top, you hit the motherfucking sprinkles, the vanilla wafers and the motherfucking whipped cream. My grandmother ain't got the fat on, oh, man. You know, I come from a, come from a good tribe of, of, you know, Jamaicans and, you know, that's, we jerk our turkey. Y'all eating white people turkey. Like, stop. This is, that's, that's all they like, help. That's all relax. I would personally bring you brown stew chicken with the rice, with the vegetables on the rice. The best part about games is when they touch your macaroni and cheese. To me, that probably sounds fat. But now you put the little marshmallows on top. Turkey sucks, right? We all know that, right? It's overrated, it's dry. It, no matter what you do to it, it's gonna taste the same, bro. I don't care how long you marinate it or how you, it's the same, bro. It doesn't matter. I don't want no turkey. I'm here for the sides, bro. The duck, though? Oh, man. If you never had it, you got to try it. Stuffing is just really, really dry. So that's the difference between stuffing and dressing. Dressing is like juicy. It has like, you know, you can put nuts in it. You can put the meat in it. You can put all the different, all the different extra stuff. So it's spicy, yes, sweet, but it still gives you that like feeling, you know, the little, the good, the next, the next day. You know how people take turkey and they start making soup and things like that. Like dressing is already like that. It's, it's, it's superb. I don't even know where to use it right there, but like, it's, it's different. Right? It's always, you know what I'm saying? It, it, the juices is always there, right? It's, all, it's a different taste. It's not, it's not chicken, it's not turkey. It's like a different, it's a different vibe, man. You can always, you try the roasted duck, man. Or duck how any, any way you like it. Try it. It's gonna be worth it, I promise you. Turkey wings, um, I don't know, like turkey wings, for most people, they don't eat it, but it's better, better than chicken. I'm tired of eating chicken. I'm tired of it. So if I choose anything, turkey wings will be the food for me. It's, it's the vanilla wafers for me. But the thing is, you also got to eat it that day. You might got one day of leftovers, but once the bananas start getting a little soggy and brown, you got to crush it. So literally that day, I, I wake up like it's Christmas. Like today, I'm going to get from scratch banana pudding from somebody's aunt or grandmother. I'm just be so excited. Come on, stop. You know. Y'all eating fried and 
baked chicken and you know y'all eat I see y'all plates every year on the gram and th on Thanksgiving. We eat it, we're eat I'm eating great. I'm eating plates and I got like like the four you place of brown stew chicken. I will send you some. I like duck and dressing. That's my that's my preference. I told you my people from Mississippi. <laughs> I don't make yam. <laughs> I don't make them. I just eat them. I actually should probably try. I think I made yams one time and we didn't have some ingredient. And then my step, my, my brother's mom was like, put syrup in it. And it was so ghetto, but it was so good. Okay, so as far as my introduction to, my introduction to, to roasted duck, it was with an uh, ex and her family. I think her aunt cooked it. I'm like, God damn, I don't know what this is, but I need this every year. Like, sh show me this. This is the way. You know how you feel like you seen the light? I seen the light. That was the light at the end of the tunnel right there. Yeah. I never went back to Turkey since that point. Bro. I ain't want nothing to do with it. Only, I don't even want to see it no more, bro. My mother and my grandmother usually make the turkey wings. My father used to make the turkey wings. He used to fry them. Again, that's why I love deep fried turkey wings. Make sure you inject your wings with the butter ball. Okay? This is a little tip for y'all. But I eat that, and amongst, of course, everything else, because I'm a fatty. I feel like people just make stuffing up here, and I'm not even gonna, I'm not even trying to be funny. A lot of people make stovetop stuffing. So yeah, so I, out the box. Like, I've been to a lot of get-togethers here, but it's because I'm not home, I guess, you know. I've been to a lot of get-togethers here, and they make stuffing out the box, and it's just dry. <laughs> like, you just sit it on the side, they might ask for cranberry sauce, but it's not really that good. It's like cornbread, rolled up in little balls. Oh, Jamaica's does it better on Thanksgiving. You know, no offense to no, no Americans in here, Jamaicans do it better. It's, just, it's a different, it's like a different taste. It's a different vibe, you know. You really go to sleep. Like, you be in, I used to be in comas, you know what I'm saying, so. I don't really cook Thanksgiving. I make like dessert for like Thanksgiving and Christmas. I let the old heads handle that. I don't do <laughs> Y'all be lucky if you get the utensils from me right now. Eventually, I'm gonna want to host Thanksgiving but I think I might have to do it a little bit this year. So I might actually just make my jerk turkey wings. So, um, but usually it's my mother, my grandmother who makes the food and I house hop a lot too. Not this time, it's quarantine, we, it's the pandemic, but I do a lot of house hopping. To nobody, Southern grandmother, you know, but Jamaican grandmothers, they do it, they do a goat level like LeBron. So, you know, it's all right, it's all right. Y'all be all right. This ask, this ask, I seen you some, this ask. I, I got y'all. In Mississippi, I don't go to this because I don't subscribe, but they do a wilderness cookout. So they literally go hunting days before Thanksgiving and anything they find, they cook on Thanksgiving. That includes raccoons, squirrels, rabbit, deer, whatever they whatever they find that they can shoot, they're going to cook it. I'll tell you the origins of the roasted duck thing, but wherever it's from, thank y'all. I appreciate you. Was they Asian? <laughs> so now for roasted duck, I've never heard of that. Duck is good though. I'm gonna be an ignorant statement. I'm not gonna say that. But I'm not doing no roasted duck. I'm not doing a roasted duck. I can't do it. I mean, it's good though, but I don't, it's not my thing. Well, I, I can do the duck, because I told you I like duck and dressing. So roasted duck, is, it can go hand in hand with the turkey. Turkey be dry to me, so I don't really care about turkey. Duck is probably a little more moist. Yuck. 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 Oh, no. Never, I was never a big yams guy. Never a big yams guy. Like, yams might be second, because I told you I can only eat the side, so I'm here for, like, the collard greens, the green beans, the yams, man, the pudding, the mac and cheese. I just do the side. I like yams with extra marshmallows. Like, <laughs> that's how I like it. Turkey wings, I always make, if I do cook, I will make turkey wings, because I feel like a whole turkey is a lot of pressure. I start sweating. It got to be juicy on the inside. Then you don't want to burn the house, but turkey is a lot. If I cook, I will make turkey rings or I'll make a Cornish hen. Like I explained, I don't eat meat. However, my mother is such an impeccable cook, I could never forget how her turkey wings taste. So if I had to say my favorite thing that I miss eating on Thanksgiving that's actually meat, if I was a carnivore eating person, it would be the turkey wings for sure. I certainly need stuff, and I feel like when I was a kid, it was cool. But right now, I don't really don't need it. Unless it's like a remix version that I ain't had yet. I'm open to it. But the regular joint that I, nah, I'm good. I can, I can skip that. But I love my mother's dressing. Oh my gosh. Because she puts like, she puts the meat inside of the stuffing and she creates her own little juices from the turkey and the chicken. 
it's oh so tasty so my mother's stuff is the only stuff i'm not doing stove top i'm tired of stove top i had that when i was younger i don't want it no more i want the scratch okay guys my name is amir alexandra and that's why i think yams is the best thanksgiving food often i name. all right thanks y'all for listening to me this is judah and that is why i think that roasted duck is the best thanksgiving food often not named okay guys my name is tanisha again and that's why i believe turkey wings is the best thanksgiving food often not named my name is carter and that is why i think dressing is the best thanksgiving day food that is not named and that's why i think banana pudding is the best thanksgiving day food most often not named